and they're all relaxing now. The three amigos, the inseparable trio. The two white ones are, are Drake's and the brown khaki Campbell duck is obviously a female. So this brown duck has two boyfriends and the two boyfriends are the two white ducks. And the reason her neck is kind of worn away like that is because there's an awful lot of mating goes on and while they're mating they kind of latch onto her neck. Doesn't seem to bother her too much. It's been going on for the past five years. This little fellow was delivered out here one day by a young couple who found him in Hillview. They said cats were trying to kill him and they were looking for a home for him. So he got a home here and he's been here now for five years. I don't know how old he was when he got here. And this Indian runner duck came here with his girlfriend. But she got out one night and the fox killed her. The three geese. The big one, the furthest away one, is the gander. And the two nearest are his two girlfriends. They produce no chicks this year. We think he, uh, even though plenty of mating went on, uh, there doesn't appear to be any fertile eggs. And we'll have to send him up to the Black Rock Clinic and get him checked out. And these two baby ducks are called Darcy and Dada. And they're growing at a phenomenal rate. A bit like the two little girls they're called after. These are house martins. The majority of these birds were born here over the past, I suppose over the past six months. upwards of a hundred birds now, the adults and, and the young ones. We have an abundance of nests here. There's three. And there's another three here. There's a couple of young birds in here now. They're able to fly but they stay in there because it's convenient for the, the parents to feed them. Not everybody would put up at a nest over a door like this, but I don't care. I love these birds so much I put up at almost anything from them. I let them nest anywhere. So pretty soon they'll be leaving and they'll be all flying back to Africa for the winter. And I would be sorry to see them go, as I am every year. I guess I always wonder, will I ever see them? Will I, will I see them again? Will I be alive the next time they come? Oh, they're beautiful. And the crows are on their way down to the river to roost. Oh, there are these seagulls. Flying in the, uh, the typical V formation. I think it's aerodynamically easier. I think they each pick up the slipstream from the one in front of them. 